Today on the Arkham Chronicle, we're all about the books, as we take a look at our favourite librarian, Daisy Walker. Daisy is top of the intellect tree by two clear points. She's about average in the willpower stakes. She's a poor fighter, but she isn't the worst. But it's her agility which really lets her down. Daisy's investigator ability says you may take an additional action during your turn which can only be used on tome activation abilities. This means if she has a tome in her asset area she can use the activate action as a fourth bonus action. This can be done at any time during her turn in the investigator phase. Note that this isn't a fast action so it will still provoke an attack of opportunity and it doesn't mean she can use all her tomes for free either. These are the tones that she starts with, and those are the actions that she could use. Daisy's Elder Sign ability counts as a plus zero. If she succeeds, she gets to draw a card for each tome she controls. As we'll see in a minute, this can be up to four. Daisy's bonus card is her tote bag, which grants her two additional hand slots that can be used on tomes. So she could have four tomes, or two tomes, and two other hand assets. You can only have one copy of this card in your deck, and like all the investigator specific cards, it has some serious icons on it. Daisy's weakness is actually one of the mildest. When this card comes into your hand, resolve the ability that says Revelation. Put the Necronomicon into play in your threat area with three horror on it. It cannot leave play while it has one or more horror on it. The first thing this does is rob you of a hand slot. Even though it is in your threat area, it is still taking up one of the slots. If you have a tote bag in play, it's not so bad. The next thing is, it turns each Elder Sign Chaos token you draw into the Tentacle token. On the standard difficulty, your chance of auto failure goes from 1 in 16 to 1 in 8. You also don't get to have your funky card draw ability either, but it's not like losing experience or suffering trauma. You may be okay with this, or you may want to get rid of it. If you do want to get rid of it, move the three horror counters, spending one action at a time, from the Necronomicon to Daisy. Note that it says move them to Daisy. This isn't taking damage that you can redirect to your assets, you are moving the tokens, not taking horror. Unfortunately, once it has no more horror tokens, it goes to your discard pile, so may come round again. Because Daisy is so good at investigating, she'll be able to hoover up clues and go through the act deck much more efficiently than anyone else. Her speed is her strength and she needs to rush towards completing the final objectives before the agenda and encounter cards get too much for her. Going toe to toe with enemies isn't good, because she has the lowest health in the core set. Her evasion is pretty bad as well. She does have access to some powerful spells, but her average willpower makes them chancy to use. When she must fight or evade, she can use mind over matter to great effect who doesn't want a daisy on their team to deal with that paperwork while you go around shooting ghouls and cultists? The old book of law can be used on any investigator, and she can have two copies in play at once. Both card draw and card screening are always welcome additions. Out of the core box she plays fine, with Dr. Milan Christopher and Magnifying Glass, although you'll definitely be wanting more tome cards. She will struggle with the mystic spells. She can use the Holy Rosary for a much needed boost. Forbidden Knowledge is also a good card for her, as she has plenty of room for horror tokens. Likewise, Fearless can help her heal the horror from the Necronomicon. She can't use Grotesque Statue as it is too high a level. Likewise, the only mystic tome, Book of Shadows, is also out of reach. An improved Blinding Light might be worthwhile if you're insisting on going into combat. The Disc of its Zamna is a one-shot item that only affects non-elite enemies. Plus, it takes up the same slot as a Holy Rosary. Maybe give it a miss in favour of another Mind Over Matter. Cryptic Research is the star of the show. It's an emergency cache for cards. It doesn't use an action and can be played on any investigator at her location. Encyclopedia, particularly when used as a bonus action from her ability, for plus two willpower, gives her the same spellcasting potential as Agnes. And she can also use it on any other investigator at her location. The experienced magnifying glass isn't going to be worthwhile if you're regularly getting Daisy's tote bag out. As Daisy is quite a fragile investigator, do give serious thought to the bulletproof vest. Particularly when you're playing solo. It doesn't compete with the slot for any other item. If you just have a core box, you will only get to play her with Wendy or Skids. Wendy might want Daisy to do some of the spell casting while she evades the enemies. Skids, with his combat potential and guardian cards, would make an ideal duo with her. 